before we begin this video, I just want to briefly thank you for all the support I've been getting lately. Thank you all for 155 subscribers, and let's get into it. So last video, I made a promise that if I got 10 likes in that video, I would do a part 2. Well, we absolutely stormed past that goal and got 26. So let's absolutely crush that goal next time with 250 likes for a part 4. Let's begin. <laughs> First one has to do with roosters. You know that one right there? Don't kick a rooster when you're in fight. Most of the time a kick won't actually hurt the rooster, but you might think it's a good way to defend yourself. Well, yes, it will defend you for maybe two seconds. It's not gonna actually save your life. In fact, it's gonna piss him off even more because chances are if you kick your rooster, and no matter how far you send him flying, he's just gonna go right back at you. So kicking really only keeps you safe for like 0.5 seconds. And after those 0.5 seconds are up, he's gonna go right back at you. So yeah, just remember, don't do that. Not that hard. So instead of doing that, when he's attacking you, stay still. Don't move anything. Because that'll tell you that you're not an imminent threat and to just get away. Also, you shouldn't just go around kicking roosters either way. It should be your last resort, no matter what. Now this next one will only apply to a small group of people, but you should always be careful of what you're doing. So if you decide like you're gonna have a garden at the end of the season, you, you mean like me sort of too, you wanna put your chickens in your garden so that way they can just salvage the remainings. Be careful what plants the chickens get to. Cause there are certain plants that can be very deadly to chickens. I know like these tomato plants, I know peppers, I think those are one of them. And also you should, all be, you should always remove beans because I know for a fact you can't feed them uncooked beans. It is just way too hard on the chickens. So that's why this clip is much shorter. Now when you have a portable chicken coop, that's a plus side. You, know, you can move your chicken coop anywhere. There's just one thing you should know. You can put it near your house, but not too close to your house. Because if you put it too close to your house and you get too comfortable, they could be exposed to some sort of chemicals. Like, let's just say, it's probably not gonna happen, but let's just say, you, your house is carbon monoxide in it, you know, your carbon monoxide detector is detecting carbon monoxide. Then chances are you don't wanna stay around in your house or else you'll probably die. So if there's carbon monoxide, get the fuck out. But if you put their chickens like, right there like let's just say like you go right at the door they can literally like the carbon monoxide coming out of the door for like that 0.5 seconds that it's open get right into the chicken coop and yeah that's why you don't want to keep them too close to your house there's other things like gases too like like let's just say like there's like a power outage and you put your generator like right there near your chickens they're gonna get sick from that and also you should be keeping your generator out of your house and you should probably keep it somewhere around like, see that's my house? You should probably be keeping it somewhere around here. This one sort of ties into my second one, but, I still gonna, but I'm still gonna, but i still gonna be featuring this one anyway. And that is just feeding random ass plants that you find on the ground here, chickens. Like let's just say like you're in your garden, I don't know, like let's just say like I'm in this strawberry patch, I just rip out like a weed and just throw it in the chicken yard. What the hell did I just throw at them? literally the last thing you think of before you literally just wiped out half your entire flock so be very careful as to what you're throwing and only throw trusted weeds you know believe it or not chickens actually eat grass so if you weed out some grass you can throw that in but don't throw in something like i don't know tiger lilies like you find outside just you know any type of lilies flowers those are those are like these i don't know how to tell them apart but there's a lot of tiger lilies that grow over there, so we're gonna have to be very cautious about that area this summer, cause that's almost how my entire chicken flock was wiped out back in summer of 2020. Free ranging is definitely a term you've probably heard if you raise chickens, but there is one small issue with it. You might think that like they might go all over here and get into this and not come out, but that is the least of your concerns. Compared to the devastating fact that roads are probably just as deadly as, pre as predators. It's it's so easy for just a free-range chicken to 
walk right into the road. They're just casually just walking right into the road and get hit by cars. It's not actually that hard. So make sure that if you're free ranging your chickens, you put them in a spot where they most likely won't cover that distance. So see up there, if you put like your chickens in like right here, your real worry shouldn't be them going up there, potentially sleeping up in the trees for a few nights. Your real worry should be the goddamn road. So I put myself through 1 50th of a mile to walk from there to here just to talk about infrastructure. So, you know, if you put your chickens inside of a structure, I don't know, like, let's just say we gave like a barn that has like electricity, you know, like you put your chickens right there. Yeah, your first move, once they turn old enough to be able to go outside, your first move would probably most likely be put them near the barn. That is exactly what we did. And that is a bad mistake, a terrible mistake. Cause like imagine like if they're like free range like and like I don't know it's like 95 100 degrees because most of the time like a good time to move your chickens out of their brooder is usually like between like early May and late June and during this time period it can get as hot as like 120 in some places so like if you just leave like your garage door open or where or whatever you do, like you might even just leave like a door open because like you're doing like work in there chickens can just walk right in there. And yeah, they're gonna make a big mess. Foam is something to keep miles from your chickens. And well, while foam might not be that toxic, it is still a pain in the ass to have to clean that up. The last one I really wanna talk about, this is one of the most important things that you should be keeping away from your chickens, is keeping them away from anything that's basically important. So like if I was free ranging my chickens, something really important down here, like in this area, might be the cars, could be the potato plants that are right here. Yeah, our potato plants are doing hella amazing right now. Like damn, look at these things. Yeah, they're doing hella amazing right now. So if like, <clears throat> like what if they like have so much value that you don't want your chickens to go right there and rip them right out? That's a real threat that you are basically putting yourself against when you're free ranging them. You should really be taking precautions seriously, keeping them away from anything important. Like imagine, like you had like your windows open cause you're about to like leave for like, I don't know, a business trip in 30 minutes. And you just got home from, I don't know, like fucking McDonald's or something for lunch. And like you're right there. The chickens are basically treating that as like, I don't know, free roosting nest. And they're probably gonna get all over your car and you're not gonna have a place to go after that. So, yeah, that's why you should really keep your chicken's wife from anything that's very important. Like, hell, like, they could even get into the basement. And there's some pretty bad stuff on the floor. You have the freezer, the washing machines, and the treacherous well that if you fell into, you wouldn't be making it out alive. So, that's why you should be keeping everything that is of value away from your chickens. No matter how deadly or undeadly it might be. That was it. And I can't wait to see all of your comments coming from this video. All zero of them. And I can't wait to see this 20 likes this video gets. See you next video. 250 likes for part two. Well, if you did enjoy, consider subscribing.